Hi, this is Jill Schiaparelli with Health Tech Talk Live, uh, broadcast to you worldwide on the iHeart Media platform. We are here in Philadelphia today at the Philly Pack Convention, sponsored by UBM Canon. Uh, we are talking to innovators in packaging, and I'm very pleased to welcome Patty Wexler. Hello. Thank uh, you for having me. Patty is with uh, Wexler Packaging Products, and they are exhibiting at the show today. Uh, Wexler Packaging Products is a Pennsylvania-based, uh, longtime family-owned business, yes. and this has been your passion and your career for more than 25 years. Um, tell the audience what some of the changes are that you've seen in packaging as your career has progressed. I'm sure they've been very interesting. Yeah, there have been a lot of them, and in the beginning, a large portion of who we sold to was in the printing industry, printing. and as we, we sell um, predominantly banding machines, we have other bundling solutions, but banding machines that band with paper uh, and clear polyfilm. Uh, as the industry has progressed, I would say the biggest thing is that we notice that people need to save on their packaging costs. So, so cost has been a major driver for you? Cost and also increasing production because people really want to save labor and they want to have increased production. Sure. Well, and that, that makes sense in any industry. What sorts of innovations has Wexler come up with to help address this? Well, in the beginning, banding was something that just printers used uh, to go around folded matter off of the folders, the cutters, the stitchers. And as we've moved through the industry, uh, a lot of contract packagers that are bundling with a shrink wrap often will take um, just carton product and put a simple paper band on so, it. So banding is is an alternative to sort of the to shrink, wrap. shrink over wraps or inner packs, chipboard inner packs, because we are trying to save the environment. Right, no, absolutely. But it can also be used for branding. You can also have custom printed films and this would be the retail package. This not being a retail package, you take the band off and it goes on the shelf individually. And so so go back to cost. How does this help with costs? Okay. Uh, Basically, uh, the cost of shrink wrapping varies. I would say the cost of an inner pack could be, uh, a chipboard inner pack could be nine to 12 cents, and this might be three cents. Okay, so, so substantial cost reduction. Yes. Um, you've been in packaging, obviously, a long time. What, I know. What, are the, what are the hot topics and the concerns of most of your customers now? Going green. Going green. And so I, we did trademark going go green. green with banding because it's, it's a good alternative. That's that's terrific. What are who? What sorts of applications are you in? Uh, we're well, this is an conference. example. Okay, this is consumer. In the me in the medical industry, we've done coils of tubing. Uh, I'm working on something now, which is actually a plastic bottle that has a tube attached to it that goes on an, an IV uh, wow, okay. rod, and then the band would be on there, and you would just like kind of pull the band so that it goes from the rod to the person's arm. They just need the tubing to hang on to the bottle so that it doesn't drag on the floor, which right. is not good in medical. No, no. I'm sure you have very uh, specific specifications when you're working in medical. We never know who's going to be on the other end of the line. Right. You know, to say, can you, and then we kind of go from there. But something that would be standard would be box product like this, over-the-counter box product, not really pharma. And anything that is boxed that needs to be bundled together for shipping because the Walmarts and the CVSs and the Costcos all want uh, a barcode on the three pack as long as the barcode on the individual pack because serialization is becoming very important, okay. traceability is becoming very important. Those are big buzz phrases these so days. Cost, green, uh, and tracking. Spends, tra and tracking. And tracking. We, we do some... banknotes too. Great, wow. Wow. So you're at this conference, the floor is buzzing. What yes. are some of the other uh, trends you're seeing either in, in packaging or um, are there any other topics of things we should be looking for in the future? Um, we really are very, very niche. I haven't had an opportunity to walk around the show okay. yet. I mean, I did just finish going to a packaging show uh, in Las Vegas. And the vendors that we're working with there are all going green and trying to save people money. There's something with a company where they're using uh, reusable boxes. Wow. And um, because people don't want to keep having to have the trash, we want to cut right. down on trash. Right. We want to have things that are less burdensome on the environment. Right. And that's, that's really the crux of, of what we do. Fantastic. Patty, if people want to get in touch with you or Wexler Packaging, is there a website you can give us? Yes, it's wexlerpackaging.com, W-E-X-L-E-R, packaging.com, all spelled out. And also, I believe our Twitter address is at banding. At banding. Yes. Very good. I was with Patty Wexler today, an expert in packaging of all sorts of things. 
My name is Jill Schiaparelli. This is Health Tech Talk Live uh, being broadcast to you on iHeartMedia. We'd like to thank UBM Cannon, our sponsor for the Philly Packing event. And we'd like to thank 1-800-PR.com for their PR and media support. Have a great day. Thank you.